Yo, peace, love, and blessings, fam. So real quick, I want to talk about energy work, the dream world, and energy management, especially with taking care of our health and our bodies. So <clears throat> um, some of you probably are wondering why the hell you wake up so tired, right? Um, especially if you are, are a lucid dreamer and you have these crazy dreams, um, some of you may not really remember them, right? But you might have slept eight hours and um, you might have slept eight hours and you're still exhausted, right? Especially if you remember your dreams and especially if you remember your dreams with clarity. You know what I'm saying? Like you had that 4K HD vision dream. All right, so in a nutshell, in the wake, in the awakened state, meaning when you are awake in your day-to-day -day life, every, every bodily function uses energy, right? Your eyes utilize, just for you to be able to see and take in light and process that information, um, it requires a lot of energy, right? Um, thinking, in particularly, Right, especially uh, the type of conscious thinking, like let's say you're reading something or even better yet, you're studying for something. You utilize twice the amount of resources than if, than if you were physically active. Let me repeat. Mental processes of the brain utilizes twice the amount of energy than physical activity. Okay? So... All of this, all of these, all of these, uh, uh, all of this information, right, and all of these inputs, and also you work in your body. I mean, you work in your brain, right? You work in your your mind, your mental gets processed through your brain. The brain is the processor, just like a computer chip or the CPU or the central processing units, right? Which is a computer chip on your phone. Every time you hit a button on your phone, you drain your battery. Every time you stream something, you listen to music, right? You drain your battery because all that information, all that is, is electricity going through the wires and then going through the brain of the computer, right? Which is the CPU, the brain chip. Uh, and the information is getting processed, but that requires battery power. It's the same thing with your body, right? So those of you that have an overactive mind, a very vivid imagination, right? You are considered a super empath, right? So you have a lot more active neural networks in your brain. You need to take care of your body. You have no choice. If not, you will live day to day, very low energy, and it will be a struggle to catch up with your energy. Okay. Um, so how does this relate to the dream world? Well, when you're dreaming, your body has shut down. But when you're dreaming, your body has shut down, but your brain hasn't completely shut down. Your brain is able to now focus. See, your brain is the hardware, right, that allows your spirit to interface with this body and this 3D physical reality. But in your body shutting down at night, your brain is able to use most of its energy, aside from healing the body, but most of its energy for the mental thought processes, right? Right? But now when you're dreaming and you're having these lucid dreams, and for those of you that want to mess around and do astral projecting, that requires enormous amount of energy. That's not happening out of nowhere. See, you are attached to these bodies, right? Your mind is attached to this physical brain and this brain is attached to this body. And it must be fueled with energy. And that energy will come from your body. And that is why you're waking up tired and drained. Dreaming and these lucid dreams requires tremendous amount of energy. And this is why it's important to cultivate your, your sexual energy for men and women, right? There's a book by Montak Chia that I've recommended several times. For the men, it's cultivating male sex, sexual energy. And for the females, it's cult is Cultivating Female Sexual Energy by Montak Chia. 
Look it up. And he'll teach you. And for the men, in particularly, what it entails is you mastering semen retention and recirculating that energy around through your temple. For the women, it entails you mastering your menstrual cycles and recirculating that energy throughout your body. Okay, I'm not going to get too deep into it here. Uh, it can be a little graphic, but you can go check it out. This is not bullshit. All right. And then other than that, you need to eat high energy foods. You need high electrically charged foods. You need that H3O2, which is the 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 water from fruits. Right. You need you need coconut water. Right. You need to be because these 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 fluids will electrically charge. you, Right. Um, you need sleep because you need to get adequate rest. If you don't get adequate rest, your cortisol levels get spiked. Right. You need you need. um. Aside from energy management, you need stress management, all right? So you need you need to keep the stress as low as possible, right? So that your hormones can remain balanced. Ashwagandha is a good adaptogen for this. Okay, look into ashwagandha. It kills, the cor it kills high cortisol levels and it keeps it low, all right? But you need to do your part between eating, sleeping, and also... Um, eliminating poisons. Stop all that damn drinking. Stop all that damn smoking. Right? And eating these junk foods. All right? But anyways, listen, in the dream world, you want to get into this trance meditation and lucid dreaming and astral projecting, you're going to need a lot of energy for that. If not, you will drain yourself and you will wear out your physical body. Peace, love, and blessings.